Hello my friends and welcome back to Choo Choo Survivor. Today we are going into City of the Dead, but we're going in on hard mode. And we're going to aim for that 35 minute achievement with the, I think it's the Class 8P. The train that has the flamethrower and the Tommy gun. Tommy gun and flamethrower. Two of my favorite weapons in the game. And we're going to try our best to get through as uh, quickly as we can. Hopefully we get some good RNG with our relic drops. Now we get something good like, you know, double R attack, but lower movement speed or whatever that one is. Alright, Tommy Gun's done. On to the next. Precise shot, double all weapon damage but minus 50% fire rate. I'll take it. We can fire a little bit slower to do double damage. Let's make sure we are grabbing as many survivors as we can, keeping them alive and well. We need it a little bit more. We're going to grab another flamethrower. You can fire circular. That's fine. It's pretty good firing in a circle around us, so I will accept that that's really good. Might not be the best, but doing more than enough. Probably won't be going with the shotgun on any of this. We're probably going to we'll go with a combination of just flamethrower and tommy gun. Yeah. Bullet storm. 20% fire rate minus 10% weapon damage. Well, we're already 100% weapon damage, so we'll go to 90% base damage and plus 5% fire rate. That sounds like a win. We gain fire rate and still have the attack bonus from the last relic. Mostly. I'll take it. Hey, the go. fire gets bigger as it goes. You find gold. Sure, why not? Have zombie speed, but they're a bit more tanky. That's fine. Grab the Tommy gun. You're gonna fire at random. Let's say I might need oil, so keeping track of uh, some pallets for that. And knowing my luck, we're going to run in some oil in like five seconds. Yep, right there. Wonderful. Weapons do double damage, knockback reduced by 50%. So now we are, what, 190% our base damage. We should be able to deal a lot of damage quickly. Uh, you find upgrade pallets. That's cool. Yep. Yep. We get this guy. That's fine. He'll be no more here in a moment. Boom. He's gone. Those are all upgraded. So we've got two Tommy guns and two flamethrowers. Go with another flamethrower. Yeah, you can fire at closest, that's fine. Upgrade pallets, perfect. Bullet storm. We'll take it. So now we're 180% over our base. And 25% more fire rate. Drone mod kit. Sure. Drone wants to deal more damage. I am all for that. Triple regeneration minus 10% damage. Sure. Sure. Our health is really low, so, I mean, gonna help out being able to heal quickly. Plus 10% area of effect. Sure. Don't know if that's going to help anything. Does it make our fire bigger? Maybe. We're at the bunker. Build it. And we're going to blast our way down to uh, the ending. Double max health. Sure. 
I recover quickly, and I have a good deal of health, so I feel pretty secure with what we're doing. And as long as we pick up everything on the way there, once we head back, we should have enough crates to upgrade the bunker all the way. Once it's all the way upgraded, we can typically just jump right into the 35-minute uh, boss wave. Just chew through these guys, it's okay. It's fine. We are so close. You may wish to slow it down just a hair. There's that. Cool. Nothing else over there we need to worry about, right? I don't think they'd put anything off on the corner. So now back we go. Might not be too fast, but back we go. And we would now finish in that under 10 minute mark with this train too. So, we're doing good. Thankfully through the power of editing, this will all be fast. All right, now that we're back to the bunker. 88 to 65, 65 to 42. rough. I want to just jump on in, but I want to have at least enough that we can, like, you know, heal up once if we truly need it. Let's do it. Worst case, I regret it later. That sounds like a future me problem. through these bosses by pressing key 5 we can just keep that going yeah I think we got this these were the guys that destroyed me last time that uh the other train was not able to keep up with and now they're not able to keep up with me They might be trying, but they don't stand a chance. Go back. And just watch as they uh, get ripped through. Those jumper ones were jumping on us quite a bit, but that's okay. Even without the crits, we're able to get through a lot of them easily. Crits just just add to it and make it so much more simple. We got two minutes left to survive. If we stay by the bunker, we should be fine. Nothing can hurt us near the bunker. I'd say as it is, it seems like nothing can hurt us anyway. Even when we get hit, nothing hurts us. And if it does, we're not hurt for long. Be a little dangerous and drive right into the group of them. And we still get out. Start backing up into these guys. Eight seconds remaining. Four, three, two, and one. We survived City of the Dead on hard mode. 
And we completed City of the Dead on hard mode. We got 77,905 gold that we can spend on primarily just exactly what we did there. And with that, we have, oh, I think, three more achievements, two more of the mystery shipping containers, and one more 35-minute hard mode run. So, hope everybody's enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.